Hey everyone, Matt Smox here, and uh, you might be wondering, how am I getting this great angle of me? Well, that's actually because Matt's in the car, because he's light enough, and uh, we have some planks to walk through. Uh, this is an update on the DNH number three. We just got done speaking with uh, the guy in charge of the Department of Works here in uh, Blakely Borough, uh, who happens to also run a fantastic business here and is a fellow railroad historian. Uh, well, we've been uh, working to clean up the car and get things out, as well as do some more surveys. We have not been helped by the weather, which has been really causing more damage, but we are finding a lot of stuff here that we didn't know about till now. And, you know, we're going along with it. As you can see on that side, we actually were able to open up the windows. I opened them from the outside. So I figured might as well open them, let the air go through, at least. We'll close them back up, even though it doesn't help the whole. Uh, the car is listing, which is a problem. That's because of uh, issues with this wall causing all the damage. But we were able to study and see where things go along here, thanks to the screwdriver. And I'll have some static shots posted on Facebook. So we're going to keep working here and I'll do a walk around on the car so you can see the outside uh, shape. Passing off to Matt now. Yes. So yeah, Matt is still sweeping up and cleaning inside. I'll be We're gonna... doing stuff. Disregard, folks. Yeah. Uh, that's our trash pile so far. That's our keep pile. Uh, we do have some highly valuable stuff we're taking out of here, especially reference material. But, uh, we're, we're going to have a lot of cleanup work when we're done, but that's just the nature of this project. So, a while back in the winter, the edge trim here fell off, which is why the roof doesn't look so great right now. We do have that saved. We also have the plate there, which is down in Pittston. And then on this side, as you can see, uh, one of the windows got shattered out, but that's all right. We're going to clean that up. And I pulled away three bad boards here to really get a look inside and so we could see how this is built up. So instead of using a full block, they actually use small block sections, which were held in place on each side by the two cross members. And then the diagonal cross members met in the middle in here and there. And that's how the walls of this car is built. And then on the inside, they use these full size parts which were sandwiched like so. Of course, as you can tell, uh, rot has not been, or it has been an issue, especially because of just a lot of the factors that this car goes through. But you could also see, uh, they actually used yellow as an underlayer and then masked over it and then put their brown on with this car, which is something unique. We also found uh, they... Well, you can actually see a few spots where the wood was replaced. But we found that they uh, used putty of some sort, or maybe clay, over the uh, nails. So then it gave the appearance of a flush look. Here's the other end of the car. And it doesn't help the farm trailer it's on. It's not in great shape. But it is good enough to move it when we need to, just a short distance. And uh, we still have to do a lot of work to stabilize the car for the move. Again, it's just, it's a bit of a mess, but yes, we do have a GoFundMe going right now. Uh, we're with the Northeast Narrow Gauge Railroad Society. And uh, our goal is to fundraise the move of this car, which we are working with a few partners uh, right now to see where we could bring it. But we don't want to say too much on that yet. So, that's it for uh, this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and take care.